Welcome back, folks. Greg Silverman here, CIOs. Uh, another session of Come Learn With Me, where we look at some articles that have done well from last week, and uh, we read them together. And they typically will focus on um, our niche investment themes. If you want to take a look at what those are, take a look at the LinkedIn link below for mini groups. All right, this one is part of our uranium series, and uh, we've been quite vocal about investing in uranium. So Uranium Energy Corp completes acquisition of Uranium One America to create America's largest uranium company. Oh, okay. This is a little, maybe two months old. Uranium Energy Corp, NYSEUEC, is pleased to announce the company, oh, this is a press release, uh, announced the company has completed transactions contemplated in definitive share purchase agreement with Uranium One Investments, a subsidiary of Uranium One, and has acquired all of the issued and outstanding shares of Uranium One for a total purchase price of 112 million in cash. All right, hang with us, we'll do a little analysis of this. Together with an additional, whoops, 2.9 million in estimated working capital, primarily prepaid insurance and land payments. And the assumption of 19 million in reclamation bond, bonding, the acquisition. Uranium One is, is the world's fourth largest uranium producer and part of Russia's state atomic energy corporation, Rosatom. Hmm. The acquisition was fully funded with UEC's existing cash on hand. Subsequent to closing, UEC holds approximately 120 million of cash and liquid assets. The rest of the season? I wonder if Uranium One was the, the company with all the political wranglings. And Uranium One was part of Russia's day. Okay, wow. Um, Amir Adnani, President and CEO, stated. We are very pleased to close this highly accretive transaction for UEC. The acquisition doubles our projection capacity in three key categories, total number of permitted US ISR projects in C2 recovery, resources and processing infrastructure. Also the opportunity to acquire an advanced asset base of this quality for one of the global leaders in the nuclear energy industry is high. Mr. Adnani concluded with this acquisition, UEC sector leading U.S. ISR production profile increases to 6.5 million pounds U308 per year, based on permitted and installed capacity of our Wyoming and South Texas, Wyoming and South Texas hub and spoke operations, combined with our physical uranium holding of 4.1 million pounds of U.S. warehouse uranium. We now have the unparalleled ability to provide reliable domestic supply to the U.S. government, as well as nuclear utilities, while providing our shareholders exposure to the fastest growing. 100% unhedged and pure play uranium is listed on the NYSE. Let's see, story continues. Oh, okay, that gets pretty detailed there. Well, what I do want to do is take a look at the uh, share price. Let's have a look. Reno Creek, Moore Ranch, Ludeman Ice Airport in Wyoming. Purchase portfolio. Feasibility. BTB Capital PLC, first financial advisor to Uranium Energy Corp. Hmm. Okay, well, this is a press release, bear in mind. Let's see, let's see what happened to the share price of UEC. There we go. Ooh. There we go. And the uraniums have been selling as of selling off. That's too short dated. Can we make that a longer chart? Let's do it this way. Let's see where UEC. Come on, come on. Let's do a five here. Get some perspective around here. Yeah. So, hmm. Share price is screaming higher, right? On a dollar ten, about 330. And the last bull run it's now come off quite a bit. 
260 uh, bars. All right, well, there you have it. Uranium Energy Corp. One of, let's see what's its market cap. It's still tiny, yeah? 838 million for a large uranium company in uh, the United States. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, uranium is one of our special little niche themes. We think we're going into a pretty substantial bull market, but um, a bull market in nuclear energy, should we put it that way. But um, these guys are volatile, so buyer beware. But uh, anyway, if you want to learn more about it, check out some of the links below. Greg Silverman out for now.